the cell, the fundamental unit of life. Each one an intricate machine, a universe unto itself, a potential target for disease. There are things that go wrong in the genetic code, but we really haven't translated that well into what's actually going on with all of those machines. Something has changed with all of those machines that, that push it down a path of being diseased. All of us begin as a single cell, growing to roughly 50 trillion by the time we're adults. That's more than 160 times the number of stars in our galaxy. Each of our cells is comprised of a myriad of molecules, millions of them. Most of us study one molecule or two molecules at a time, maybe one machine at a time. But somehow, at one point, we need to put these all together. In recent years, scientists have gained a greater understanding about the parts inside of cells, but understanding how those parts work together to produce a healthy living cell and what goes wrong when a cell is targeted by disease will take an entirely different approach. We know that with the tools that are around today, that these are tractable problems, but they require a real concerted effort, a scaled effort to tackle them. To take on this challenge, philanthropist Paul G. Allen has made a generous commitment to found the Allen Institute for Cell Science. The Institute will use new technologies at a large scale to study the cell as an integrated system, big team science that can't be done in traditional academic labs. The big aspects of it are around not only the size of the resources, but the ambitions and the goals of the project. The goal? to create publicly available tools, data, and models that will be shared with scientists everywhere. This includes basic scientists because alterations or mutations tell us about how the cell works, but alterations and mutations are also critical for disease. Cancer is a great example of that, but really you can imagine just about any kind of disease, cardiovascular disease, things that affect lots of people, Alzheimer's disease, these are all diseases of cells that are going awry um, somehow, and we need to understand what's going on at that molecular machine level. We live in an enormously exciting era now. New discoveries are being made monthly, and by putting together multiple cutting-edge technologies, the prospect of us making major discoveries is exceptionally high. Accelerating our understanding of the cellular universe, the Allen Institute for Cell Science.